Welcome back to Divinity Origins in 2, as we are so very close to Divinity. We are still in the Council of the Seven, and we've just unlocked the way to the Temple and our path to Divinity. But over here, we have four characters that we know, and a Eternal Arbiter. Arbiter? Arbiter. Whatever. We have an undead Sibyl, an undead Ifan, Faden, and an undead Red Prince. What the hell are those guys doing here, and why the hell are they undead? Also, I still want to get into this office. So this is it. The Temple of the One. At last, this journey is almost done. Almost. But not quite. Let's see. What the hell is going on here? Why is there a party and I haven't been invited? Much to your surprise, you encounter Ifan Ben Medst once more. But wasn't he dead? Ignore the accusatory look on his face? What the hell? Ask him how he's still alive. Alive? I am far from alive. I am sworn to the Covenant. Oh no. And you too will be far from alive after I face you in the arena of the One. I did all of your quests in Reapers. I gave you gear and was nice to you. What the, f what the hell? He smirks. And something awful glitters in the void behind his eyes. Something you never saw there before. Something you hope never to see again. The what? They're all aligned with the God King? I didn't kill you. I tried to keep you alive. Let's see, and let's talk to Sabina. Yes, it's me. In the flesh, to an extent. Well, flesh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she looks weird in that picture. Tibia, you thought her dead. No such thing for those who scar themselves for the God King. Oh, what have you done? I found a new master. A kind master. A promise of eternity. Through him, I shall be free. Pain? You vile, sniveling little beast. How dare you? What? What the hell? How dare you reject us? Reject? What the hell? How did I reject you? I didn't... Yeah, fuck you two. Ask how you can still be here. How many times did I have to tell you? I am eternal. Yeah, we'll see how eternal you are when I'm done with you. Perhaps I should thank you. If not for your cruelty, I would not have met him. If not for your crimes, I would never have been reunited with my people. My cruelty, my crimes, I did everything for those guys. This absolutely makes no sense. But now, now I am whole. And soon, soon you will be torn to pieces. Yeah, I'd like to see a try. And the Red Prince? Look here. My erstwhile comrade in arms my newfound mortal enemy the red prince is alive behold the prince of darkness i cannot be denied not even death can stop me i have answered the god king's call one day he'll answer to me undead and undefeated yeah, sure, whatever. Fine. The first time, I didn't kill you. But this time, I sure will. Oh, come on, let me jump up there. The Dean's office. Perfect. Who needs to solve riddles? Uh, solve riddles when he can teleport you. Let's see. 
Got a bunch of corpses and the spirit of Raiderless and the Chancellor. Dead Chancellor. And dead Raiderless. And an ancient tome. Okay, that is all this to loot. Let's see what we picked up over here. Uh, tome on the Sworn Breaker. This book describes the crafting of the Sworn Breaker and, more importantly, its destruction. A scythe powerful enough to challenge the will of a god. It was broken in two, both shaft and blade, and hidden on the Nameless Isle. It's safely out of mortal hands. Yeah, <laughs> well, not anymore. And Tome on the Etern. This complicated set of schematics details the functions of the Etern. One drawing shows seven celestial beings bowing to the device. And the ancient tome. The secrets of the gods. I've seen them with my own eyes and I've discovered the truth. The seven are keeping a secret. When we worship them as saviors, they feed on us like cattle. It is all of our source that keeps them alive. They consume the very lifeblood of individuals, families, villages, kingdoms, all so that they may live on in perpetuity. Also, we cannot be sated by the source we should rightfully keep for ourselves. The gods are thieves, and we their victims. The gods are liars, and we ignorant sheep. The gods are masters, and we, their slaves. When you champion a god, you are championing no less than your own weakness. When you worship, you sentence your neighbors to death. You will only ever be free when we abandon them as they have abandoned us. L. Lucian, maybe? Who's L? Must be Lucian, right? So, yeah, this... Um, kind of answers the question why the gods created the mortal races. If you remember the conversation with um, with Eterna, she called us nothing more than source vets. And yeah, that is in fact the truth. The gods created the mortal races so they can feed on them. They are nothing more than source vets. Although that raises the question why they would need source words in the first place. Where does, where does the source come from in the mortals? I, I would have thought that they used source to create the mortal races, but that would imply that they give the source to the mortals and they would take it back when they die, but there would be no net gain in that. So where does the new source come from? No idea. And Tom on the God Slayer. Ooh, is this referring to Anathema? The volume lists a great many weapons and their origins. It is not a thickly paged book, however, and it falls open to a page that has been clearly read and reread. It has been known by many names in many languages. Now it is called Anathema, a blade capable of killing the first target it touches. Yet no more than that. A crystalline sword that could so much as destroy God, but would lie dormant forever after that. Ah. Yeah, Tarkin is currently um, attempting to recreate Anathema, or to repair it, or whatever. And observation on the Universal Veil. Presumably by Fane. Opening the book, you can see it was a meticulously laid out treatise on some kind, but its pages have been covered in angry scrawl, leaving the original text illegible. Of the furious script covering it, you can only make out a few words. Traitor, betrayal, apostate, traitor, heretic, traitor, traitor, traitor. Yeah, it's probably a book by Fane. <laughs> it's only when you reach the end of the book that you can find a coherent sentence. It mourns, it mourns the fact that my people have been cast to the void. It swears revenge on backstabbing lords and says they will suffer the darkness they have unleashed on the world. I will be king again. 
I will be key again. That would imply the God King. Was he here in person? What the? Your time will come, and sooner than you think. Who the hell said that? Weird. Very weird. Can we open that door? No. Well, let's uh, talk to Redalus. His memory comes to you like hound to master. Your name is Redalus, and you are Godwoken. But you know that you can never be divine. You are in love with Tarion, your rival, and that love makes you weak. You hear rumors of a god king who would free you to be with Tarion. You seek the Chancellor's knowledge of this king, but when you find the Chancellor, he lies dead. A figure stands over him. Lucian, the great divine. He smiles at you and bids you approach him. He lays a hand upon your shoulder, and his blade slices your gut. As you fall, poor Redless, you know that you will never see your Tarion again. I wonder where the spirit of Tarion may be found, given the belief that he is free to go. Redalus awakens as if from a daze. He takes what would have been a breath, were he still alive, and breaks into a run. Ah. Nice. Okay, let's talk to the Chancellor too. Welcome to the Forbidden Library. Do not fear the truth, though it smash your world to pieces. Do not fear the truth about the gods. Ask him if he knows a student by the name of Redalus. Redalus sought the secrets of the gods. Redalus sought the god king. And Redalus died at Lucian's hand. Ask him for the truth about the gods. The gods destroy what they have made. You think them cruel, but they are not. They own us, and will do with us what they must. A thought arrives from deep within. A single word. Lies. Hmm. Hunger rises deep within you. The oh. hunger. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anyway, before we go there, let's uh, talk to the lovers reunited. Tarion and Redalus. The lovers stare into each other's eyes, together at last. Tarion registers your presence for the first time. She smiles at you in gratitude. Smile back. They have your best wishes. Redalus gives you a nod of acknowledgement. You know they'll leave now for the Hall of Echoes. They turn to each other. Oh, isn't that nice? All right. Let's get to the business at hand and kill those traitorous ex-companions of ours. Is that the Well of Ascension? I don't know if uh, it has been a s if I if I have said that before, but yeah, how you can become a divine um, is by using the Well of Ascension, which presumably is that thing. So here's the story. You already know about the seven lords and uh, who are the seven gods and all the backstory with the Eternals. So they they tap the veil which uh, imprisoned the, the void to become gods. But by tapping into that veil they weakened it and gave the void access to the world. To fight the void they created the divine. And to do that all of the gods combined um, gave up a part of the power to create the well, the well of ascension, which is effectively a huge pool of source. And yeah, to become a divine, you go take a bath in it, and then you're kind of the champion of all of the gods, or you have the power of all of the gods, and you're supposed to um, fight the void or to keep it at bay, to do what the what the whale was supposed to do. And yeah. Now we have to fight for the right to become the next divine. So, uh, let's loot first before we do that. <laughs> well then, let's talk to the Eternal Arbiter. Godwoken, are your studies complete? Declare that you're ready. 
All Godwoken have completed their studies. I take you now to the arena of the One. There you may fall, or you may rise. Alright. So it begins. The first Godwoken to enter the Wellspring becomes divine. Oh, never mind. This is in fact the Well of Ascension. You could see the source waves down there. Okay, this looks really uh, imposing. We are competing with the other... Well, with our ex-companions. May the new divine be worthy. For the rest, may he have mercy on your soul. Yeah, I will definitely not for these traitorous bastards. To the wellspring. Begin. Alright, why is Lors last? Oh, God damn it. Oh, whatever. So, we've got Fane over here. And... The Red Prince over there. Let's kill them. I'll yield to nut. Traitors. There we go. All right. Um, why don't you jump over here, which hopefully puts you in range of both of them? Yes, perfect. There we go. Them traitors. Let's loot before we go to the wellspring. Alright, divinity awaits. Just have to get over there and we will be the next divine. Uh, oh, we have to go through some more sentinels, I guess. No matter. They're weak. Is there anything more to loot around here, by the way? Yes, yes, there is. Have a look at this. This looks really amazing. Look at that. This huge pool of source. I'd like to have that. Look at that. Damn. Alright. One more of these guys. Ah, whatever. Let's jump away. And kill that guy. Just a few more steps. The wellspring. Let's have a look at the quest block before we do. The battle to decide the next divine has begun. The first god woke to reach the wellspring shall be victorious. Let's go. And let's become UI. Oh. So good of you to come, Godwoken. 
You know, you are many things, but above all, you are reliable. Reliable to the point of being predictable. You came to the wellspring. I followed. What the hell followed? Did you follow me? And she brought the reader man too. And a bunch of goons. But I should be able to handle them. The Lady Vengeance is, after all, my ship. And now here we all are. Oh, right. She must be able to track the Lady Vengeance. That's... That's a problem. It is time, mistress. She gives you a long and steady look. As if it is the last time you shall see each other for the rest of eternity. Then she dips her chin in acknowledgement. You are almost her equal. Yes, Riederman. It is time. She raises the Aetiran. Oh, like crap. a divining rod to water, it seeks the wellspring and finds it. The device hums to life. Oh, crap. No. My source. We are done. The hell? Yes, Breederman, we are done. And so too, Godwoken, are you. Soon you shall be little more than relics of a bygone time, and this place shall be your tomb. No, my divinity. Goodbye. Oh, God damn it. Well, guess we won't be divine after all. God damn. Ah, this place doesn't look so good. Yeah, might be wise. Really? You think so? <laughs> ah, crap. I was attacked by Dallas at the Well of Ascension. She had the Aetheran in her possession, possession and used it to purge the wellspring of the powers that lay within. So, there will actually be never be a divine again. She she got them perched the whole well of ascension. Holy crap. We found ourselves trapped in the ruins of the arena of the one. There doesn't seem to be any way of escaping. Ah, shit. Guess we lie down and die then. We fought in the arena of the one only for Dallas and Redeem to appear and seize the powers from the wellspring using a device known as the Eteran. Ellis can surely only cause harm with those powers. It must be stopped. Indeed, she must be stopped. God damn it. So close to you. Divinity. Anything to loot around here? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, is that a chest? No. Just a sauce puddle. So, where's the exit? Presumably up there. So, let's go up there. Peace doing. The ritual has failed. The structure lies in ruins, but you have at least survived. You should feel relief, disappointment, confusion, anything but the rage that wells up from deep within you. The rage grows, burning hotter than the volcano itself, tearing at you, seeking to overpower your senses. The red mist wants to descend. The red mist feels like it does not belong to you. The red mist feels alive. What the hell is happening now? And it wants you. What? <laughs> what? A familiar figure materializes before you. A copy of yourself, enraged. Your own face glows at you in hateful fury. It opens its mouth. And your furious god begins to speak. Oh, now I'm quite uh, curious. Who, uh, um, who my furious god is? So is it the demon or is it Relic? It must be the demon, right? You failure! It is Relic, indeed. What the hell? So we are the Godwoken of Relic, after all. I wonder what happened if we had Ifan with us, because Ifan is the Godwoken of Relic. You nobody, you weakling! Look me in the eye. I am Relic. I am god of this world. All that you are is mine. It shall be mine once more. 
Yeah, I think I'm growing tired of the gods. It's time to put them down. Yield. Surrender yourself to your god, that he may right your wrong. Yield to Relic, that he may be god of Rivalon. Yeah, that's a good point. Laugh and tell him it, it, this is the first time he's paid attention to you. Why would you listen to him now? You were infected. You were defiled. There was no room for me to speak with that creature you have inside you, bellowing at every turn. So, he was there all the time? The whole time? It is mercifully quiet now. Quiet enough for me to make my final plea. Yield to me. <laughs> Laugh at the god of the past and his futile raging against the incontrovertible truth of his own obsolescence. If you won't yield by your own will, you will yield by mine. Yield to me! Why? Why do I skip my first turn again? What the hell is that? This is a bug. God damn it. Fine, the beast is going to kill you then. There are more. Oh, it's just lava eruptions. Yeah, screw that. Okay, time to put you down. God damn it, gods. How did I hit them? Him. What the hell is that? I am the last. I am the one. You are nothing. What the hell is that? A source Titan. And it's his turn. Please don't kill Lorza. Oh, it's Lorza's turn. Well then, you're dead, buddy. A freaking joke, by the way. Look at your health. What the hell? One shot that None. thing. Let's do some the loot. Titan what? In pieces before you. The god controlling it is dead by your hand. So what? The gods are dead? Like for real? Lava roils as earthquakes rumble around you. Shockwaves of sound pierce the air. The growl of shifting ground. Suddenly, a voice echoes in your mind. It's Malady. Where the hell are you, she calls. Ah, find my beacon. We need to get out of here now. Her voice crackles and dissipates in your mind. All right, all right. We have to get out of here. But first, I have to loot. <laughs> and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And then we can start moving forward. Oh, God, I'm slowed, really. Oh, I'm over in car. Oh, shit. That's a problem. That's a big problem, actually. Crap. I have to drop the items and loot them with beast. I only have to drop one, that should be fine then. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. But before we do, let me loot that crossbow. <laughs> oh, fine, whatever. Yeah, let's get out of here. So, the gods are dead, and there's no divinity, and Dallas now has the power of the gods, which is bad, I guess. So, what's next? I guess we have to stop Dallas. 
Anyway, let's get out of here first. This melody is beaten. And she knows how to make an entrance. And an exit. So what? The whole island is destroyed? So in the end, the mother tree would have died anyway? Cough, heck, snort, heck. Oh. I guess when I said never again, I really meant once or twice more. Oh. We're in the halls of echoes again. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The Hall of Echoes once more. Our home away from home. Thank her for getting you off the Nameless Isle in time. That was a close one. Close indeed. You almost became a god and instead you're still... you. Yeah. I'm quite... Uh, I'm as disappointed as you are. At least you managed to murder one of the seven. Quite the spectacle. What, we only killed Relic? Really? Oh, that's sad. We've liked to kill all of them. I've never seen anything so. <clears throat> Let's talk about this later. I need to rest. We've still one big jump to go, but it'll have to wait. Also, you didn't tell me what your deal with the advocate was. She casts her gaze around, taking in the streaming bluish ether. She breathes a deep, ragged breath. At least, it's quite, quite beautiful here, isn't it? I'm mm. going to take a rest, sort myself out. I suggest you do the same. Speak to the ship if you need me. She'll know where to find me. This may be your last bit of respite before the storm blows in again, Godwoken. Enjoy it. You deserve that much. Ah, oh, nice. Nice little holiday on the Lady Vengeance in the Hall of Echoes. I have too much to carry. Damn. And I can't give it to anyone else because I don't have any party members. Damn it. Anyway, I think that is enough for this episode. And yeah, this is like some interlude between acts. And yeah, we have concluded the third act of the game. And we are about to head into the last one. We still. Well, there's uh, only one thing left to do, and that is find Dallas and stop her from whatever she's trying to do with that power she stole. Also, I want to kill her, because she stole divinity from me. Maybe we can get it back, actually. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.